Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. This will be part 8 of our Let's Play. In the last episode, we escaped Paragus. She's still aging. And we are headed to our next destination, which is Telos. Uh, she seems fine, she just... Actually, Cryptic is always. What a surprise. Just so you Jedi know, the whole cryptic routine isn't mysterious, it's just irritating. <laughs> if you really can see the future, you should be at the Pazak table. Uh, I don't think Kraya is a Jedi. Then she must be royalty, because she's got to be queen of the galaxy to bark out orders <laughs> like that. Or maybe oh, she's God, I love Atten. I mean, how old do you think she is? She may have been good looking once, but it takes some hard living to make creases like that. Fair enough. Uh, she looks good to you. You must have taken a blast hit when I wasn't looking. Hey, I just got out of prison. If we had a decent Navi computer, trust me, we'd be dropping out of hyperspace into the Nar Shaddaa Red Sector right now. Respect. After spacing that old witch, of course. Um. Are we still on course for Telos? Like we have a choice? It's the only place Baragas had logged in their astrogation charts. Now, if you thought Baragas was dead, then Telos is a dying world they're trying to breathe back. But to like, life. surely you could just too long. have other. You surely the, the Ebon Hawk has other astrogation charts. Uh, right, so, I'll do that. What happened? Now, what are you talking Don't about? Give me that. There were plenty of times back on Paragus where a lightsaber would have been helpful. So where's yours? Uh, exiles aren't allowed to keep their lightsabers. Oh yeah? I thought a Jedi was supposed to be married to their lightsaber. Guess I heard wrong. Were you a single hilt or one of those double-bladed Jedi? Uh, I was a single hilt. Huh, figures. It wasn't red, was it? Ooh, I think this makes a difference. Uh, both the blade and crystal were unique. Uh, it's been so long I've forgotten its color. I thought a Jedi and their blade couldn't be parted. To lose it was like losing a part of yourself. I... I don't want to talk about it. Alright, forget I said anything. Like I said before, you can check our course on the galaxy map if you want. It's on the wall behind you. Well, it's on, on the wall in front of me, but sure. Uh, we're going to Telos. Zip zap zippity doo! Away we go. Actually, I don't mind Telos as a setting. As, as an idea, Telos is kind of fun. It's like a world that was ravaged in the war or something? In the... Jedi Civil War, and they're trying to sort of like replant it and rejuvenate it, I guess. Uh, that's definitely a hole right there that we just planted our landing gear directly on. Unless maybe it's like a grate or over the top or something. I don't know. Looks like a hole to me, is what I'm saying. I think the whole ship should just gone Mrrr, tilted into the hole. Attention. This is Citadel Station Bay Control, Dock Module 126. Okay. Please remain where you are. Lieutenant Dolgren will arrive shortly to meet you. That is all. I don't like the sound of that. If they think we caused the explosion... Uh -oh. I mean, we didn't. Here comes the welcoming party. They may not know what happened, so don't blow it. I'm Lieutenant Gren, Telos Security Force. I'm under orders to take you into custody in regards to the destruction of the Paragas... How do they know this already? Uh, are we under arrest? formally charged. But you will be placed under house arrest pending the results of our investigation. Due okay. To the nature of the investigation, I have no specific timetable to offer you. Of In course. In the meantime, your ship and any droids will have to be given over for safekeeping. Why the droids? Yes, that includes you. <laughs> you are a droid, so you will be detained. In addition, we will have to take your personal arms and armor until the completion of our inquiry. Uh. Yeah, I understand. Hold on. Is there any way to get our gear back? If you are cleared of any involvement, your personal effects will be returned to you. You will be held briefly in the TSF station until living quarters can be arranged, at which point you will be placed under house arrest. Do you Fair understand? Enough. Uh, I do. Good. I'll cooperate. My men will relieve you of any arms and armor. Please follow me. Tell me I'm not going to jail again. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sorry about that, Arten. You definitely are going to jail again. Uh, 
Okay. Nice. I do like Handmaiden. She's kind of fun. Oh, we won't get her in this run because we're a female character. We'll be held here briefly. Living quarters are being arranged for you and your companions as we speak. Okay. Someone will return shortly to escort you to an apartment in residential module 082. Uh, that's some questions. Many matters to tend to. Your questions will have to wait. Fair enough. Well, we might be here for a while. These seem really well uh, comfortable. like. It seems a bit excessive to just put you in solitary as like your only prison system. Because that's like a solitary cell. That's not a, a real cell. So this is the last of the Jedi. I must admit, I'm a little disappointed. Yeah, let me out of this cage and we'll see how disappointed you are. Helpful, though at least it appears you have some spirit. The exchange has a bounty on Jedi, you know. You're worth quite a bit of money. The exchange, huh? I do know. I'm pretty sure some two-bit pistol jockey like yourself isn't one of them. Yeah, you have no idea how much I know. skilled enough to work for the exchange. You bounty hunters couldn't even win a fair fight. You're the cheapest, most worthless mercenary scum in the galaxy. I'd hire a Mandalorian over your filth in a second. Nice. No Mandalorian could match my skills. So this is Mandalorians before, like, the Mandalorian, right? This is when they're still very much alive. Then what? Overloaded our force cage fields and made it look like an accident? So they're not quite as bad as us. Pretty close. <laughs> Pathetic. Don't think overloading your cages had not occurred to me. You're wanted alive, but I doubt anyone will care as long as I bring them your corpse. Is that how that works? Uh, why are you here? Like I said, the exchange has put out a huge bounty on Jedi. I'm just looking forward to early retirement. Now we're in a TSF station. How do you expect to get away with the this? The security cameras have mysteriously shorted out. There will be no witnesses to your escape attempt, during which I'll have been forced to kill you. By the time the TSF realize I'm not one of them, I will be far from this place. But okay, so if you're going to kill us anyway, why not overload the force cages? Just saying. Uh, that's good so good. Jedi, it is time to die. Hey, leave her alone. You want to fight? Then try me, if you've got the guts. Wow, I have goaded me once, and you shall not do so twice. But I shall dispose of all of you eventually. And an old woman, a fool, and a broken Jedi, and no I mean, to my skills. Even if you're a fool, you're gonna be... You know, Anne's pretty good with a blaster. That's, that's such a... Such a bold play, <laughs> just, just saying. Ah, yes, I'm going to let them all out so they can attack me. Oh, wow, he saved her. Okay, yeah, turns out he is not a match. <laughs> we are very much a match for uh, What's going on here? Skill, Man his skills. Down. Quick, call a medic. All right, Jedi, I want you to back up slowly. Hands in front of you, into the force cage. Cooperate, and we won't have to gun you down. Come on, I'd, Lieutenant. They've already killed I'd like to see you try with my force deflection, but sure. Is that, is that Batu Ram? Uh, yeah, no, he was an assassin. It's a good thing I didn't have to depend on you for protection. Ram's no assassin. Batu Ram is on leave. He shouldn't even be on the station. This man isn't him. Uh, I'm glad someone noticed that only after he tried to kill me. We've arranged for an apartment in residential module 082. You'll stay there under house arrest until our investigation of the Paragus matter is complete. You'll be under TSF protection. I'll personally clear any visitors to your quarters, and we'll investigate this incident to the best of our ability. Oh, good for you. Yeah, great. Oh, she, sorry. Best of your ability. That's not very inspiring. <laughs> Mate. <laughs> Officer, Just take me to my quarters. Lieutenant Yima, a report of this incident. She'll look into this. The rest of you come with me. We'll escort you to the apartment in 082 Don't, don't, don't roll your eyes at me, let's be honest. Someone just tried to kill me, and you seem really unconcerned about that. You're just like, eh, yeah, yeah, we'll look into it. These will serve as your quarters for the duration of your house arrest. Two officers will be stationed outside at all times. Again, I'll clear any visitors. There won't be another incident. Well, just unless there's someone you don't know. Side. Why don't you leave us a blaster or two? Look, though. I can't say. How long will I be here? But, like, look, though. Left of the you leave us a couple of blasters. So they have, like, free. guns. We'll There's tons of Citadel... Step up from a force Citadel, like, TSF, whatever. I guess TLOS we'll Security Forces. Um, Let's go. Like, there's gotta be tons of those in the station. Like, what? 
I assume we're like a wanted. Just put up a sign and this be like, good. this guy should be under house arrest. Station. If we shoot our way out, then surely that they'll just catch us again? What's even the point? What do you think Why do we need to leave? Gonna find it, that could bring the sip. You know what? Mm. Forget it. As long as we're trapped here, it doesn't matter. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, what do you think, Kraya? We cannot stay in any one place too long. But our path has brought us here for a reason. I must meditate on this. In the meantime, we should rest. Yeah, you go sure. ahead and meditate. As for me, I could use some sleep. Hmm. Same diff. Rest. Nice. I mean, I'd probably just sleep. Oh god. And what do you think about this? You seem pretty calm. It's almost. Uh, I'm fine. In fact, I've felt this good in a long time. Well, it's good to see. You're a nice counterbalance to that old witch back there. Um, nothing. Never mind. We'll, we'll answer the buddy phone first. Hello. Accept the call. Excuse me. You have oh, I didn't see who it was. Moza, representing the Athorian Planet Restoration interests on Telos. Lieutenant Grenz cleared him. If you'd like to speak with him. Um. Sure, Very whatever, well. send him in. I'll let him in now. Send him in. I, I don't like the Thorian design though. I don't know what they're supposed to be. Um, if it's for someone that doesn't speak, like, galactic basic slash English, then I'll probably just skip through the dialogue just to make it a bit quicker. Um, what does Chodo want with me? Uh... No, explain it to me. Yep. So the station uses energy fields to seal off portions of the planet's surface and generates and controls weather patterns. Once the weather in the zone is stabilized, new animal and plant life is introduced to restore the ecosystem. Yeah, so that's basically what I said. Uh, we need to contention with the corporation known as Zerka. Perhaps you could have heard of our troubles. Uh, no, what troubles have you had? If the Orians are well known as ecologists and agricultural engineers, the Tolosian government asked those from my herd to help restore their planet. Um, no. Finding enables to purchase flora and fauna from Onderon. I've raised a Citadel Station shield network have allowed us to purify and reseed small populations on the surface. Then the troubles began. The public relations with Onderon began to deteriorate, increasing purchase and transport costs of animals, and as the station grew, the Tolosian security force was no longer able large enough to police the entire station. Circle approached the public and offered supply and security contracts. A paramilitary security division now polices two thirds of Citadel Station. Interesting. Circus integrated themselves into the Telosian political system and economy. They're currently pressing to something, something. Their efforts hinder our cause greatly and will have terrible consequences of plants restoration. Okay. Um, I'm reading it way far. Oh, sorry. I'm like, my eyes are reading it faster than my mouth can keep up. Um, okay. How could I help? Powerful priest of spiritual leader. Send something upon your arrival. It an echo on the force. Try to feel like you might be able to aid us. You didn't tell you if you could help heal Telos. It may be impossible for him to heal you. What do you mean? You can ask what Chodo means by this. He says the echo he felt upon your arrival suggests that you yourself are damaged. You can feel your pain through the force. Chodo Habat should turn his eyes to his own people. <laughs> yeah. They truly suffer so. True. Uh, if this is if this offer mutual aid interests you, please go to the Authorian compound here in residential 082 when you are able. Okay. Um, I'll consider it. I'll think about it. Yeah, like, they're so weird looking. I guess... I guess, like, aliens in Star Wars all look pretty human, except for some of them. And I do like the non-human ones. They're much more fun. Uh, communication console. Uh, B4D4 Zerka Corporation. Sure. I am B4D4, administrative assistant for Zerka Corporation's Citadel Station branch. Okay. Wow, I'm guessing these are the two factions in this area. Uh, pff, sure. Thank Go you. ahead. I will connect you now. Good day. Thank you for accepting my call. As my assistant no doubt informed you, I am John Aluso. Uh, why are you calling? I understand that you were approached by Nathorian earlier. Doubtless he tried to obtain your help, attempting to purchase it with imposed guilt and veiled threats. Well, not really veiled threats. Yeah, I don't recall him threatening me. Oh, and I suppose he didn't mention the exchange, helping you with any problems here? In other words, the Athorians won't lead the exchange to you if you work with them. No, he didn't mention the... Yeah, no, he didn't mention anything like that at all. My apologies. 
I never intended to waste your time discussing it already that seems dodgy <laughs> like you are already dodgy but go on a person of influence someone I'd like on my side rather than aiding the authorians whose quasi mysticism and bumbling foolishness is standing in the way of progress and profit I'm okay. not asking for your help though I'm offering you a job work for Zerka and be handsomely rewarded you'd be helping yourself if you're mm. interested Please visit our offices here in residential zero eight. But like, again, you already sort of you're the one making veiled threats about the exchange, so yeah. Like, I'm not interested. Too bad. Well, you know where we are if you change your mind. Like, of all the people giving out veiled threats, it's you, not the Authorians. Don't take the wrong road. We should get back to bed. Whenever they decide. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Okay, cool, we didn't get woken up this time. Explain something to me. I do not have the years Intra -party conflict. the desire to indulge <laughs> If she served in the war... Oh, she's so well, snarky. Jedi are supposed to be tough, capable. Yes, and what are they without the Force? Take the greatest Jedi well. Knight, strip away the Force, and what remains? Hmm, okay. They really no, fair enough. On it more than they know. I guess, like, Jedi training is super Force-focused. As they try to hold a lightsaber. And you will see nothing more than a woman, or a man, a child. But to lose so much... And like, lightsabers are a pretty relied on it. powerful weapon. In many ways, even you are more capable like, just because you can wield a lightsaber doesn't mean you can you wield a sword, because a lightsaber, you can... You, you just have to sort of touch things to kill it. it whereas swords and stuff, you have to put a bit of effort behind it. You have to be good at it, you don't just have to touch their weapon or them or whatever. It seems so extreme. She has been gone from war some time. It is conflict that strengthens us, and isolation that weakens us, erodes us. Add it's not really true. Turned away from war, did all that she could to forget it, and the last piece clicks into place. But we have spoken yeah. enough. Of she this. doesn't. Well, we, we don't, don't want to be sort of a Jedi again. Speaking of this while she is present. Yeah, I mean, we regret what happened during the war. We don't want it to happen again. I've come to inform you that the Talosian government has completed its inspection of what's left of the Paragus facility. Yes. It appears that the Harbinger had indeed been present, though it was gone when our ships arrived and was responsible for the station's destruction. That's Logs right. Logs recovered from the facility's wreckage indicated that the miners perished as a result of sabotage, which began while you and your companions were either incapacitated or incarcerated. Exactly. As such, you are to be See? released from house arrest. However, the Republic is sending its own ship. They have insisted that you remain on station for the duration of their search. Mm, that's not going to happen. Uh, how long will I have to stay? The sojourn is already en route. Likely not more than a few standard days. Feel free to use these quarters during your stay. Is the Evan Hawk still impounded? The vessel's IND is complete. Please visit the TSF station in Entertainment Module 081 to complete the necessary paperwork at the front desk. The Evan Hawk should be transferred from the impound docks by the time you're free to leave. Cool. What about After my T3 truck? the paperwork, it'll be transferred with your ship along with your confiscated weapons and armor. Fair enough. Thankfully, I don't really need weapons now and armor, though. We can't just stick around. We need to find a way off the station. Whether it's the Ebonhawk or some other ship. We could hit Nar Shaddaa, maybe. What's, what's with this, like, you need to leave? coming after you. It's where you go to get lost in the crowd. Yeah, why do we need to leave? Look, this place is a waste. If Telos wasn't doomed before Paragus blew, it is now. Even more so if your friends from Paragus come calling. Yeah, but okay. They've, they've because it depends security on Citadel forces and have Citadel guns and whatnot. depends on Paragian fuel and the Republic senators. The Citadel's fuel source went up with the mining facility. And I mean, okay, so senators? the project's stuffed, <laughs> but... Not something worth counting on. It doesn't mean everything's stuffed. What do you think, Krayon? It's difficult to say. I feel we came to Telos for a reason, but we may have spent too much time here already. Even if the Harbinger was destroyed at Paragus, more Sith could already... Which maybe it wasn't, like, they probably Still, have stronger shields than us or something. we might learn of other Jedi here, on the planet's surface. Jedi who might help us restore your abilities, or sever Seems the link random. between us. Well, what do you think? Hint, hint. Uh... Stay or explore, Telos. We need a ship. Let's Makes find the other sense. I'll follow your lead. Oh, everyone leveled up. Nice. Yes. Uh, Kraya, what do we do with you? I guess we put you into awareness and treat injury. And we'll put it into repair, I think. 
Powers, you can just take anything to buff me. Oh wow, two levels up. Oh yeah, because she was sort of absent for a lot of that section. Uh, upgrade your wisdom, obviously. Skills, again, we just go boom, 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 boom. Done. Powers, what do we give you? Let's give you force. Barrier? I guess. Alright, Atten, what do we got for you? Attributes, uh, you're a dex boy. You're a dex boy. Skills, uh, demolitions definitely. Awareness can go up, and I guess security. Fighting spirit? What's fighting spirit? Hello? Where was that? Oh, I guess it's like his unique thing, so I probably can't see it here. Um, so we have weapon focus. Do we get finesse? I suppose you can't get finesse. You can only get finesse with... I don't know, maybe he can't get finesse? Close combat would be pretty good. Ah yeah, finesse with melee weapons, because melee weapons based on strength supposed like it's supposed to be, but if you take finesse you can use your dex if it's higher. So it's good for um ranged characters that have to use a melee weapon. If you know, you can change them out from melee weapon when they get close. Uh maybe take precise shot. Yeah. That feels pretty good. Just more damage with blasters. Definitely can't complain about that. Something Atten? up. Uh, I have some questions for you. All right. What did you want to know? <laughs> Can teach me to play Pazark. No, I, d I don't want to play Pazark. I, I do not care. Hello. Zerka's mercenaries are getting out of hand, and they're too much for the TSF to handle. We need Republic troops to restore. All right. We're just gonna go in everyone's apartments. See if we can't steal some stuff. Or say howdy. Oh, locked. Oh, Atten can't get in there either. Fair enough. Uh, I don't think we can go that way. Nope. Just gonna scoop that little bit on the corner of the map. Uh, yeah, this is, this is the apartment section, so we can just go into each sort of apartment building. Or complex. A1. Ooh, we can get into A1. Hara, how you doing? Oh, need some uh, who are you? Wait, Zerka, what do you do here? Data process. Uh, what is this prediction? Uh, yeah, perhaps he cheated? Doton head. Uh, Sure, perhaps I could be of assistance. 2,000 credits for a freedom. Wow. Uh, I think I can persuade Doran to see things out I do have Jedi mind tricks and whatnot, so I, I think we can just... We can, we can make it work. Hello? Ah, nice. Stuff. Oh yeah, because I don't have my stuff at the moment, do I? Because they, they took everything off me. Hey, what are you oh. doing in my apartment? Uh, just looking around. Like you were doing more than just looking. Uh, sorry, just figured. figured. what? You just break into my apartment and take everything I own. Are you crazy? <laughs> fair, fair enough. Uh, when you put it that yeah, way. I thought so. Get out of here before I get the TSF. I'll be going now, mate. I didn't. E you don't even have anything good. I don't know what you're angry about. There wasn't even really anything to steal. And then I immediately turn around and do it in the next door neighbor's apartment. <laughs> Hello? Oh, you're just standing there. Alright, what about this way? What's over here? What do we got in B? Good in B. We've already found a quest. Oop. No, don't don't punch the door. Let's be civilized about this. Damn thing's stuck. Ooh, impossible. Okay. Oh, touch a boss already, I'm not... Contract with Uh, what's the exchange one with you? <laughs> nothing, nothing at all. Awesome, uh, never mind. Never mind. So, he's hiding from the exchange. Oop, locked. Oop, stuck on the wall, it's all good. Okay, so we have to go to the TSF, like, special... 
special place, or the impound bay, or whatever it is, to get our stuff back, which is mainly what we want. Shuttle bay elevator, eh. Do we need that? Information terminal. Can I get, like, a map? Download area map. Boom. Log out. Uh, circuit officers, Bumani Exchange Corp, that's clearly the exchange. Uh, residential module west, so probably the shuttle bay, right? Is that where we want to go? Oh, that's entertainment module. Oh, why does not just... okay, whatever. I don't think I want to go to the entertainment module. So let's go to the other end of the residential module. Well, we know the, um, Ithorians are over here, because they said the residential module, and if they're not in this section, I'm guessing they're in this one. Uh, yeah, Thorian compound. Cool. Um, we'll grab an area map of this one, too. Nice. Uh, medical facility... Oh. Maybe we do want to go to the entertainment module? God, I've forgotten a lot about this game. This has probably been three or four years since I've played this. Jeez, maybe even five years. My god. How's it been that long since I played this game? Like, I definitely remember the start. I do not remember Telos much. I remember we go down to the planet eventually. But, other than that... Turbo Brothers Emporium. Why do I know where that is? You know what? Doesn't matter. Okay, I guess I'm not going that way. We'll just try again. What is over here? Uh, okay, that's a bottomless abyss. Cool. Those are always fun. Uh, okay, so that's the Emporium. I really want my stuff back. Oh. Hello. That didn't look like an accident to me or my associate here. Stop your drinking, let me leave. Not even an apology. That won't do it. Uh, what's going on here? I don't this even have my weapons, and I'll sort it out. to say about us that we didn't take to so well. We're just trying to work out our differences. Yeah, this seems uh legit. I like to hear his side of the story. Ah, I'm enjoying my drink. Ah, okay. This doesn't have anything to do with you, stranger. Just move right along. Have a drink in the cantina. Hmm. Uh, I think you should leave yeah. now. Or what? You're gonna teach me a lesson? Go ahead. I hate your kind anyways. <laughs> Keep your nose in your own what kind? business. Women? White people? <laughs> I'm very confused. Uh, can we just talk about Believe this? Believe me, there's nothing to talk about. Uh, I don't want to fight you. Then you shouldn't have gotten involved. Well, problem is, you shouldn't have gotten involved, because I can just deflect your blaster shots, which is pretty bad for you. See? Okay, so they hit me every now and again, but... Oh, and, and the TSF are helping me, or they're helping them? I don't know, hard to tell. Bam. Uh, why are they allowed to do this? This isn't able to keep much of the peace on the station. So I can side too many mercenaries in so I can control them, yeah. Uh, fair enough. Uh, you should leave in case their friends come looking for them. Uh, thank you. Like, I, I'm good, but not that good. If someone's gonna offer me a reward, Especially when I don't have any, like, money or anything. I'm, I'm gonna take it. You know, I'm not just gonna go, oh no, no, I'm so good, oh, I don't, I don't need your money. You know, oh, I don't need anything, I'm just such a good person. Nah. Nah. That, uh, that's stupid. At least, again, for now. For now, when I sort of have not a lot of resources at my disposal, Probably want to just take everything I can get. Later on, when I've got like 10,000 bucks, then I can afford to go, oh no, I, I don't need anything. Welcome to Entertainment Module 081's TSS. Uh, how may be of assistance? The turn grant said to come here to get the Emin Hawk and the rest of my possessions out of impound. I will call up the appropriate information now. One moment. Searching. One moment. 
I regret okay. to inform you that the Ebon Hawk is gone. The TSF believes it was stolen and is currently investigating. Wow, they really are incompetent. <laughs> yeah, stolen? How is that even possible? It seems the Ebon Hawk was transferred to Telos' surface instead of an impound dock. However, both the requester and the point of delivery are unknown. In addition, Great. the vessel is not showing up at any government sanctioned landing site. I would conjecture that it has been stolen and the TSF records have been illegally accessed and modified. You're probably I knew right. It. That stupid T3 unit stole our <laughs> ship. It's probably joyriding through the system right now. <laughs> laughing oh, I love that Atten just hates T3 because he's great. While your utility droid is not accounted for, numerous satellites track all incoming and outgoing vessels. There is no record of the Ebon Hawk leaving the system. Interesting. Wait. You're saying the ship's actually somewhere on Telos' surface? I don't understand. Telos' atmosphere is highly corrosive outside the shielded restoration zones. Where else could someone land safely? No. I'm sorry. Secret, secret squirrel stuff? Or like, underground? Of course, the quarters and residential module OE2 will Just spitballing. Uh... Can I get my possessions back at least? Hmm. Appreciate it. I will open the door for you so that you At least you can do one out of three things right. Uh, what am I supposed to do now? Wow, wait till you find out who actually did it. I do know who did it. Hmm. Yeah, so that's rubbish. Uh, tell me about the exchange. exchange. is a major intergalactic crime syndicate. They are trying to gain a foothold in the Citadel, most likely seeking to integrate themselves as fully as possible with the new Telos. It is rumored that the Bumani Exchange Corporation, located in residential module... <laughs> Gee! Of two, Gee, I wonder. Exchange Bumani Exchange Corporation. Hmm, could they be with the exchange? <laughs> Ugh. Whatever. Are we going now? Just, just whatever. I, I'm, I'm done talking to you. Right. Where's my stuff? You know what? I'm taking all of your stuff as well. I'm taking this. I'm taking this. Oh, okay. Th this is my stuff, but I'm taking some of their stuff too. Jesus, my stuff was in like five lockers. Okay, but I'm, I'm taking this. It's like a tax, a blaster rifle. Suck it. Um. Okay, well, I guess I'll just wear the minor uniform. Uh, I'll put on just a crappy energy shield. I'll put on the my armband because that's kind of fun. Uh, what do I want here? I don't want an interface band. Some like nullifiers, maybe. It's not very useful. Ugh, whatever. Uh, it does require light armor though, so I'll wear survey gear. Uh, detonator gloves? Nah. Don't need those. Guess just insulated gloves. And I can't wear these because I don't have enough constitution. That's right. Uh, I'll take the cardio regulator since my constitution is quite low. So I'll take the vibro sword. We'll take the rhodium blade. Wait, hang on. Vibro sword, vibro blade. Uh, right, we got a vibro sword. No, I take the vibro blade because it's. Oh, sorry. Put it in my main hand. And the rhodium blade, because it's a pretty good combo. Uh, I guess I'll hold on to the plasma torch. Just in case. Uh, you take the interface band. You take the exchange casual gloves. I guess you can have the. reflex saves? Maybe? Energy shield, Mandalorian melee. Uh, I'll give you the. I guess just an adrenaline amplifier. Just make you make your reflex saves like insanely high. Uh, okay, so one to seven, one to eight. Yeah, well, I guess this is what we have to take, right? Pair of one to eights. So, what's the difference? Industrial handheld laser can double as a makeshift blaster. No. Oh. They're, they're exactly the same. Okay. Uh, that's fine, and then we'll just give you like a Vibro Sword as a backup. Just a single one. Uh, Cray out, you can have a Vibro Sword. Uh, you can have the Cardio Regulator. 
Uh, Mandalorian melee and I guess an energy shield. Again, it's a good combo. Rental combat implant, maybe. Immunity to critical hits. She will be a lot closer to battle, so maybe that's a good idea. And then... These, I guess. Take a breathing mask. Okay, so you don't actually wear anything, but Atten, can't you wear pretty much whatever you want? Uh, they're both medium. Oh, wow. 7 plus 7. Jeez. Ah, nice. That is a sweet outfit. Alright, but we are going to leave this episode here. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie known, feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the videos on there. If you think you know any friends that might enjoy my content, make sure you share a video with them. Really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback for videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comments section down below so I can see it. I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.